From WJC family, it's time for our weekly Torah talk. We are looking at Parshat Va'era, which is uh, our Torah portion this week, and includes the introduction of the ten plagues. Not all ten, but the first several of them are listed in this week's Torah portion, take place in this week's Torah portion. It begs a lot of questions, the plagues. Why does God bring forth this collective punishment? What's the symbolism of ten? Why these plagues uh, in particular? And uh, there are questions about, is this justice or vengeance? Is there some significance to this going on for a year? All kinds of answers are brought about how, you know, the punishment needs to be a year long for this reason. The plagues correspond to what the Egyptians did for that reason. I want to bring something a little different that I think can, can help us understand both our connection to God and faith as well as our connection um, to the world. And that's a... a, a a commentary that's brought um, by the Novominska Rebbe in his Haggadah. On, uh, and he brings the comment of the Maharal, which is on the number 10 and its significance. He says that there are 10 plagues because the Torah says, or at least the Talmud says, um, in Rosh Hashanah, that God created the world with 10 utterances, 10 ma'amarot, right? So it is 10 sayings of God, right? And God said, let there be light. And God said, let's bring forth uh, plants from the earth, and so on and so forth. There's 10 of those. And so the 10 plagues are in punishment to Pharaoh, who denied that God created the world, right? Denied, denied God as creator. And by the way, I know we might deny God as creator and uh, from a literalist interpretation, But the idea that there is a force that works for creation in the world, hopefully we don't. And I, we have a lot of questions, and I'm happy to talk about that. But ultimately, for the Maharal, belief in creation, however we define that, and God's place in creation, is tantamount to belief in God. Right? And so... When the Novominsker brings this, and when the Maharal brings it, he says, the ten plagues correspond to Pharaoh's denial of God in the world through the ten Ma'amarot. Okay, so, so that's that connection. He then, though, the Maharal goes on to say it also corresponds to the Aseret Dibrot. We had the ten utterances, Aseret Ma'amarot, for creation. The Aseret Dibrot are the ten commandments that God gives to us on Mount Sinai. And he says that it is only through the power, the vision of these um, plagues that the people of Israel are ready to accept the Torah. In other words, this show of God's power of creation. And again, how are the plagues linked to creation? We can note that the nature of the plagues is often to go against, like have, take natural phenomenon like hail or, or locusts or wild beasts, but to have them act in an unnatural way. So through these plagues, God is showing off God's control of creation and nature and just how important the balance that God inserted into nature is. And so now, seeing that, the people of Israel are reminded of God's power, God's connection in the world— and are able to turn in faith on Mount Sinai and accept a new ten verbal vocalizations, not the Aseret Ma'amarot of creation, but the Aseret Dibrot, the ten utterances, the ten sayings of the Ten Commandments. Ultimately, it is the plagues, the the, the recognition with faith of, of the beautiful balance of the world, and that there is something holy in the fact that that balance holds steady, that allows the Jewish people to recognize through faith God's power and accept Torah. And through Torah, to have that connection back up to God. The, the Nova Minsker says God puts God's self in the Torah. Not literally, but we can find our way to God through the study of Torah. It seems like a very, um, a very relevant uh, drusha today. Right? We live in, in, in a world where it seems like that balance is going out of whack, whether it's um, killer hurricanes, crazy uh, ice storms, 50-degree drops in weather, um, floods in California, torrential rains like we've never seen before, and all across the world, flooding all kinds of these phenomena and their impacts that we can't even really understand yet. And 
part of recognizing why that is important, why that matters to us, is recognizing that the balance that was placed in the world was placed there by God, that that's what these Aseret Ma'amarot are about, that the world is meant to be something and God intended it to be uh, that way, a place that nurtures life and creation. And the more we destroy it, the more we ignore the, the earth crying out to us, to help alleviate some of these changes, um, the more we're really also denying God, that, that, that faith, that connection, a little like Pharaoh did, that, that, that one connection that we have to God is through Torah, but we only really understand that connection through Torah when we understand the connection to God in creation. And so it's worth noting that the Maharal of Prague, that the Novominska Rebbe, who passed away a couple of years ago, a few years ago, there was a recognition of this God in nature concept and that it matters how we treat the world or at least how we recognize God in the world. That ultimately, it's that recognition of God in the world. It's through taking care of the world. It's about understanding the issues that are at hand and doing what we can to keep that balance of nature in balance that we find our way, at least according to this interpretation, from the 10 utterances, uh, the 10 sayings, through the 10 plagues to ultimately the 10 commandments and the connection to God through Torah. And we can't have one without the other. So hopefully we'll all take this opportunity to take a leap of faith, to see God in the world and through seeing God in the world and working towards a better balance in this world um, to finding our way through Torah, through learning, through wisdom, to uh, that sense of God in, in our own lives as well as in the greater world. Shabbat Shalom.